Welcome to the Sunday Dojo Show. I was looking for inspiration uh, for the coding exercise for this week and came across this uh, Mars Rover Challenge project. Uh, the goal is to implement a program that will track uh, a Mars Rover and Mars Rover could be uh, steered by the uh, three characters that will make the rover to turn left, right or move forward. We are given the initial position and then the a string of commands and we the goal is to know what is the final position of the, our ro rover and its direction. Uh, the implementation uh, is provided on that side however this uh, given implementation uh, had a lot of if else statement. So for us uh, let's uh, give let's let's take the challenge and try to implement the same program without any if statement. So this week we will have if less programming. Okay, we just open the test case file and we start writing the first test case. So uh, let's have a object for our representing our rover. When we construct the rover, we give the three parameters that will be the initial x, y position and its direction. Uh, then we can well, uh, pass a command to, to our rover, that's the second line of the test case. And finally, we would like to uh, check what is the position, so compare uh, the position of the uh, rover R with the with reference. Uh, I try to compile this, however, of course, uh, have no implementation yet, so obviously it will uh, not compile. Uh, but this simple test case will uh, actually specify quite much of the interface. So now we know which uh, function we uh, well, need to implement. So first of all, we need the class I'm Rover. That class, as we saw, uh, while we construct the object, takes three parameters. So it's uh, integer x, y, and then the uh, direction. I call them uh, i, x, i, y. Uh, just as the input values, so you can initialize the class members uh, with this data. So we know we have the class members x, y, and then the uh, character d for direction. Uh, let's see what, what more we should implement. Uh, yes, there is a call operator. So that call operator takes uh, this character as a command. So let's call it character C for command. Uh, for the moment, we'll leave this function empty. Uh, then, of course, uh, we, uh, on the last line, compare to object uh, of this kind. So we need to have the compare operator. And of course, if we say that two Mars rovers are equals, then we mean that they have the same x, y position. It will be the same uh, x, same y, uh, and the same direction. So that should allow us to compile and run this first test case. Uh, of course, after we fix the syntax error. Uh, in this equal operator, the both this class needs to be constant and the parameter is also constant. Now we have a failure that is quite expected as we didn't provide an implementation for the command. However, we see that uh, the output uh, is not that very readable. So when we compare to object, we actually don't uh, see which data didn't match or how actually those uh, objects look like. So let's uh, teach the gtest framework how to print our objects. Uh, 
uh, this is done by implementing the uh, this flash operator that can be used to print the object and well let's uh, implement the Mars rover str function that will return the string representation for our uh, object so here we uh, return the string um, that's quite similar in um, the previous week we implemented the str function in uh, python this is the quite same purpose so here we just uh, put the string values for uh, the x, y, uh, concatenated with spaces and uh, then the x, y are integers, that's why we need to call this uh, to str function and then d is a character so we can concatenate that with the result string directly. And of course this uh, str function needs to be also constant in the class now we still have a failure however now we see uh, exactly what is wrong so uh, we ask our rover to turn left and it's remain heading to the north direction instead of heading toward the uh, west this is because we don't we have quite empty implementation for this uh, command and let's uh, think how to uh, fix that one so if we give a uh, command that will uh, the new direction will depend of course on the uh, current direction and the command that we are passing so we can actually uh, have a map mapping the uh, direction command combination to the new directions let's call that uh, d change direction change so first of all to have a key that is uh, the double characters uh, we can use the standard uh, c++ uh, pair construct that will represent a combination of current direction and the command and then we introduce a map that will map the dc values uh, to a new directions somewhere we need to also put add some values to uh, our map uh, we can do that in the class constructor uh, so from the test case we know that if the rover is heading north and we ask it to turn left then the new direction should be uh, west let's see if this uh, will solve the test case uh, this case is passing so good indication we are on the good track uh, let's try now uh, to spin our uh, rover the full uh, turn so from west it goes south and from south to east and then back to north and if we are uh, then going in the opposite direction so we are turning right it should go from north to east, south, west, and back to north. Now this uh, updated test case will fail as we don't have the full uh, combinations of the DC in our map. But we can easily add the missing values. And similar combinations for the turning right
and now we have uh, implemented all uh, turning movements which is quite good but still uh, our rover cannot do much more than just turn around so let's uh, add the test case for moving forward we have our uh, rover in this test case we can uh, create actually four different rovers it would be the north rover west rover east rover and south rover uh, each of them heading in a different uh, direction and then we ask uh, each and every rover to move forward and finally we check that uh, every rover at its uh, XY location updated correctly and also as there was no turn uh, command given they each rover should keep its uh, direction so moving north will increase uh, Y moving west will decrease X uh, and so on that should be the correct values let's see the test case is obviously uh, failing we could see that actually the direction is not uh, preserved so the value is missing from our map so we got the uh, uh, zero value by default so we need to first of all add the update our deep change uh, map for the movement command the movement command should not change the direction now uh, I see that actually it would be good to use the same map for uh, well, mapping the direction and both the XY change so we could introduce a new structure let's call it state uh, that will have the XY and the direction uh, combined together and we can use this uh, state structure as the uh, values of our map so to use a brief uh, way of writing the values we introduce a constructor for that struct as well We just uh, write the constructor that takes three values and uh, just initialize the structure fields and now we can update the map to use those uh, states as the values so actually it's not anymore the direction change it's well let's say it's a change map of change map of changes how our rover reacts to the commands and uh, now to update those uh, values we uh, put the state well, let's say by default we pass 0 0 as the change for xy let's close the bracket here I use the control V uh, to mark a virtual block in Vim that's very handy and now the left right commands will not change xy however the move forward uh, command m uh, change it by one or minus one on xy depending on which uh, direction we are heading towards so i think this is the uh, correct values in the map just need to fix the name Okay, and finally our uh, call operator needs to uh, update the D and then uh, update the XY. XY are not up, well, uh, for XY we are just uh, adding the, the values from the change. So we are using the plus equal. Uh, and 
आवडतात मॅक्स आवडतात काय तू पास Finally, we need to make our uh, rover be possible to move uh, or take the several commands at once. So right now we just pass a single character as a command. I would like to pass uh, a string of commands. So let's say we ask the, uh, a rover to well, turn twice left, then move to fields forward. And that should make it to head, uh, well, it's heading south, so after two turns, it will head north. And if it's uh, having 5.5, five, then uh, it should go to 5.7. Uh, this will not compile, as at the moment we are not, uh, we, our call operator just supports the uh, single character. We need to write a new uh, call operator that will take the string, and we well we could write the normal for loop, just calling the other operator for every character, uh, but we can uh, use the standard for each function that will make that even uh, shorter. So we take the uh, container uh, it's well, iterator to begin and and finally we need to pass the uh, function or the object and as our object implement the call operator we can use uh, the this object directly and finally we return uh, update the this value uh, as a return value for uh, from this for each function The case is uh, for each operator acting on a copy. So to get the values returned back to the, the original object we uh, updated. Final call. So uh, that seems to work fine. We have the uh, possibility of passing multiple uh, commands at once. Uh, so finally we have our uh, our, our uh, new uh, Mars rover that we uh, will cross check with the uh, uh, reference values from this uh, side so we initialize it as a it was given on this uh, on the web page with one two and heading north and then we ask the rover to do the string of commands And we uh, assure that the uh, result is correct so I remember it was one and three and heading north yeah so let's run this test case okay we got the correct result we cross-validate our implementation with the uh, expected data given on the side. So that's all. Let's uh, review the implementation. We uh, put quite much logic in uh, into the map, so we use the date more data, not that much logic in the code. We don't have an if statement and a for loop. Our implementation is quite nice, and we learn about the uh, flash operator in the G-test. Thanks, goodbye.